Your legendary is called Surging Shots. I'm gonna type it SS. And that's your main legendary for Mythic Plus. And for raiding, I like to go with something called uh, Serpent Stalker. So I'm gonna type again Serpent Stalker SS. That is your primarily legendary uh, when it comes down to raiding. Perfect. Okay. So you play Hunter, so we go Hunter. Mm -hmm. The main thing you have to, have to keep in mind is a system called Renew. I'm not gonna go into that because that's gonna take me tons of time to, to explain. Always. You're gonna have uh, always one choice, that's gonna be Paligos. You won't have those two available in the beginning. And but you choose Kyrian for the hunter, right? Yes, you always play Kyrian okay. as a hunter in Mythic Plus or raiding. As for now, things could change potentially, but yeah. it's very unlikely to change. But this was kind of like, I, I call it crack the eyes, kind of the basic that I talk about. And that's something mm -hmm. that usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Unless you have more questions, I'm going to proceed with the most important part of the actual coaching. So here's what I do. I like to preload my cooldowns, usually in thinking advance. If I use my cooldowns here, would I have it for the next boss, you know, or like for the next pack? So always think in advance where where, and when you use your cooldowns. As you can see, look, everybody used their cooldowns on the previous pool and I'm here blasting. And inside the volley window, you want two aim shots and one rapid fire, at least, but, right? Preferably, yes. Sometimes you, you can only fit one, one aim shot, one rapid fire. But preferably, you want to have at least one of those. So I, I like to begin with aim shot. Aim shot, rapid fire, aim shot, or aim shot, aim shot, rapid fire. Either is fine, completely fine. You just have to understand when you have burst and two shot aura, I usually ignore casting any precise shot procs. Now, what is precise shot right here? Do you see that? This, this that says two. I usually don't cast it, although when I always cast my aim shot and my rapid uh, rapid fire. Now, the, the reason why I do this is because it does do more damage, and I only yep. cast those if I have to move. Let's say I need to sidestep left or right. And I need movement, then I do it instead of aim shot because aim shot is hard cast. And obviously, if I could use rapid fire beforehand, then that's going to be even better. Like if you if you're going in your opener here and you use your resonating arrow, you use your volley, and then you use all your cooldowns, and then you start with the first aim shot. Um, isn't it better to use all your cooldowns before the volley so you won't lose time inside your volley window? Uh, no, because then what do you burst to the tick, which also has to die? That's okay. why I put my, as you can see, it's also necrotic, so it's important for the tick to die as fast as possible. So it doesn't apply necrotic to the tank and he can reset faster. So immediately when the tick spawns, I want to press my volley so I know that I can cleave it as fast as possible. Okay, so pure single target is going to be like this. So <clears throat> double tap. Into, you can do that before pull, right? Just yeah. Double tap. yeah. Double tap into arrow. I want to type arrow into so if it's a pure single target i would like to do aim shot into rapid fire or aim shot either either is fine sometimes i prefer double aim shot sometimes i do uh aim shot rapid fire aim shot especially if i have to move immediately you know some bosses have to move immediately and only only then i would use uh rapid fire so arrow aim shot aim shot rapid fire or arrow Rapid fire, aim shot, it is pretty much the same. Maybe there's a slight minor difference for now. And then you're gonna pretty much spam your aim shots and uh, rapid fires up until your true shot aura runs out of uh, cooldown. And that was pretty much kind of uh, a sample of what I do in the coaching sessions. Usually this goes for a while up until the end of the dungeon or up until the client or like the person that hires me is uh, satisfied enough to understand what's going on. But anyway, I think that's gonna be put the the end of our like kind of a small coaching, so you, so you kind of understand my brain behind what I do, and hopefully you get to learn something about go. it. And thank you for joining me again on a sample, and hopefully see you again in the chat very soon. Yeah, of course, you know I'm there. All right, man. thank you for joining. Thanks for having me, and see you no soon, man. See you soon. Bye bye.